Hi guys, this is just a video just to show you guys the loot and the time it is taking me to get to each boss solo in the Shadow Towers as a guide on which Shadow Towers to do and what loot, Shadow Shards and Binding Darkness we can get. So, without further ado, let's dive into it. We have got Spike Walker with a time of 3 minutes and 7 to get to the boss, loot of 25, Shadow Shards of 19 and no Binding Darkness. Then we move on to Weeping Prophet which took me 3 minutes and 19 seconds to get to the boss. A loot of 51 and some nice Shadow Shards of 78 and 2 Binding Darkness. Then we've got the Vengeful Piñata God which took 6 minutes and 43 to get to the boss. A loot of 67 and shards of 111, but no Binding Darkness, which is very disappointing on that one. Then we move on to the Shadow Hoid Draken, which took me 3 minutes and 7 seconds, which is very, very quick. Loot of 25, shards of 19 and no Binding Darkness. And then we get on to Darknik Dreadnought, which took me 7 minutes and 39 seconds to get to the boss. Loot of 34, shards of 39, and Binding Darkness of none. Then we move on to Daughter of the Moon, the last one obviously. 8 minutes and 50 to get to the boss. Loot of 31, shards of 23, and no Binding Darkness. I... I've got to say that I did kill everything in each Shadow Tower. I killed the trash mobs, everything, for all the loot, etc. So that's all the Shadow loot I got. If you've been getting different loot, like more Binding Darkness, please let me know in the comments below. Leave a like on the video if this has helped in any way whatsoever. Please stay tuned as well, guys, because this Sunday we will be bringing the giveaways back and this week we're going to start with a 1 million flux giveaway so please stay tuned for that and as always stay safe guys and i will see you in the next one take care everybody